Hotel in Las Vegas, Nevada. It's the first annual international female mud wrestling championship. Today's first heavyweight elimination bout will feature Lonnie Saltzman from Honolulu, Hawaii, and Susan Meshner from San Gabriel, California. Headlock. Saltzman has left her in the headlock. Meshner on top of Saltzman. Riding her. Down. In our second match, Stacy Starnes from El Paso, Texas, pairs off with New York's Jackie McQuery. Mud flying everywhere. The third following after it. And Gabrielle Watley goes in for a headlock. The third elimination faceoff will be between Gabrielle Watley from the state of Washington and Linda Dupre of Los Angeles. Dupre swings over to cover herself, pretty herself from a pin. Round one. Our last contest before the semifinals is a grudge match between Karen Smith of Pittsfield, Mass., and Tara Michelle of Glendale, California. Good afternoon, ladies, afternoon, and, ladies gentlemen. and gentlemen. Welcome to, Welcome the, beautiful to the beautiful Imperial, Imperial Palace, Palace Hotel, Hotel in Las Vegas, Nevada, and the first annual Female International Mud Wrestling Championship. Today's events are sanctioned by the Nevada State Athletic Commission and will feature seven matches, including the main event, which will produce the first world champion female mud wrestler. A series of four elimination bouts will be fought to produce two semifinal bouts and then the main event. The matches will consist of three one-minute rounds with the most pins during a match producing the winners. There are no holds barred in these contests. The contestants will begin each round on their knees. The mud wrestling ring measures nine feet by nine feet and is known to the fighters as the mud pit. As you may or may not know, female mud wrestling became popular in the early 1940s and is now on its way to not only making a comeback, but it's become known as the newest female sporting event in the world. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it is my privilege to introduce the coaches. For the red corner, the star of over 90 motion pictures, Mr. Rory Calhoun. And for the blue corner, the star of motion pictures and television, Mr. Adam West, who's also Batman. Thank you. How are you, Roy? Now, fighting out of the red corner, Miss Lonnie Saltzman. That's your girl. Not a chance. Not a chance. I understand you lift weights. Uh-huh, four to five days a week, and I know I'm stronger than her. How, how much can you lift? Um, I can squat about 300, bench press 160. You're kidding. No. Where do you see my blue girl? Miss Karen Smith. I understand that besides being a mud wrestler, you're a terrific volleyball player and you participate in many other contact sports, is that right? 
Well, I knew I know kung fu, karate, jujitsu, and <laughs> beautiful. Miss Gabrielle Watley. Well, I want to tell you this and the whole world. Yeah. I can float like a butterfly. I can sting like a bee. Her <laughs> hands can't grab what her eyes can't see. I'm strong as a willow and I can bend like a tree. Oh, and I'm boy. the baddest athlete in this side of the Mississippi River and I'm here to show that to the world. <laughs> Miss Jackie McQuarrie. You enjoy mud wrestling? Yes, I do very much. I hear you're one of the tops. I'm one of the top. Now, fighting out of the blue corner is Miss Susan Meshner. Oh, yeah. I want to hear Susan, I understand that you hold black belts in many different martial arts. Is that right? That's correct. Karate, Judo, Jiu-Jitsu, and Kung Fu. How, how did you become interested in martial arts? Well, it started at seven years old, kind of the old ugly duckling story. And it really helped my confidence a lot. And at 15 and a half, I became the youngest black belt in the United States. And Miss Tara Michelle. What does your family think of you mud wrestling? Oh, they're very happy for me, because I do get to travel around the world. I hardly ever see them anymore. That's the only disappointing thing. Miss Linda Dupre. I know that you've wrestled all over the country, That's right. right? That's right. Where? Some of the um, Florida, uh, Texas, mm -hmm. um, Mexico, and, uh, and I can't get over bit. I can't get over the fact that, that you've never lost a fight. And besides that, you're gorgeous, and you're an actress and a model, right? Right. I did it to start getting in shape for modeling and acting. And is that right? And uh, I enjoy all sports, mm -hmm. so I thought I'd start it up, and I just uh, didn't took a liking to it. Didn't you recently do do some feature films? I sure did. I did a terrific movie with. Uh, with Bill Murray and John Candy, mm -hmm. called Stripes. Yes. And uh, it was a lot of fun. Uh, and what I had was the other wrestling. one? Um, the other one was Looker with James Coburn. A lot of with fun James too. Coburn? Mm -hmm. And Peter O'Toole. Oh, wow, big stars. But you're really terrific. up and coming. Hope so. <laughs> Miss Stacy Starnes. Hey, Stacy. I hear you're from El Paso, Texas. Yes, I am. I've also wrestled there and in various areas of Los Angeles. You are a professional mud wrestler, is that right? Yes, I am. That's how I make my living. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to the person that will be announcing these fights, Mr. Tane Botkin. Thank you very much, Marianne. Ladies and gentlemen, the referees for today's matches are Mr. Carlos Palomino. And Mr. Stephen Schiffman. And at ringside, John Worth, Judge. Constable Lou Tabbitt, Judge. Dr. Romeo, Donald Romero, doctor at ringside. And our timekeeper, Jane Broadfoot. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, our national anthem performed by Colonel Barney Rawlings. Can you see by the dawn's early light What so proudly we hailed At the twilight's last gleaming Whose broad stripes and bright stars 
through the perilous fight For the ramparts we watched Were so gallantly streaming And the rocket's red glare The bombs bursting in air Gave proof through the night that our flag was still there Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave For the land of the free And the home of the In the red corner, at 123 pounds, from Honolulu, Ms. Lonnie Southman. And fighting out of the blue corner, from San Gabriel, California, at 133 pounds, Ms. Susan Mishner. Wrestlers, take your positions. Down here. Both girls eyeing each other, sizing each other up. We watch the approach each other. And they're locked. Salesman has left her in a headlock. They're fighting, struggling for position. Salesman. Mishman now got reverse of the headlock on Salesman. Struggling, trying to gain control. A battle of strength. Size versus strength. And they're locked. Locked together. And the referee calls a break. These girls have both hurt of each other. They both scattered each other. It's a contest between size and strength. Susan Meshner, black belt, jiu-jitsu, karate, and judo. Lonnie Saltzman. Strong, tough, fighter from Honolulu, Hawaii. Got a mouthful of mud. Headlock by Saltzman. String. And she stalemated, it. Struggling for control. Listen on top of Saltzman. Riding her. Down. And it's the end of round one. End of round one, ladies and gentlemen, a very even contest. Both girls extremely strong. Very evenly matched. It's also taking a drink of water. Okay. And from arm bars, he pulled it down. Messner's on the ground. In the mud. Half Nelson by Saltzman. They're fighting, struggling for position. Deadlocked. And deadlocking. Saltzman trying, trying for an arm bar. Pulling her out. No. Messner protects herself. Goes down. Holds her. Both girls struggling for position. Test of strength. Saltzman on top of Mishner. Both girls struggling. Saltzman riding Mishner. And down on top of Mishner. She has her on top. 
They're pinning, trying for a pinning combination in a pinning position. And it's close. Trying to force her down, holding her down. Richard can't see anything. Eyes, mud in her face and mouth. End of round two. Bart's girls, Bart's girls recovering. It's a very exhausting, tiring, tiring competition. Both girls go back to their corners, having the mud wiped out of their eyes and their mouth. Pretty much even Matt Salzman possibly having an edge, getting measured close to a pinning position. However, it's still the match is completely even between the two athletes. They're still wiping the, the mud out of her mouth and out of her nose. Salzman breathing deeply. Okay. Round two on three. Meshner still wiping it. Blood from her eyes. Okay, turning. Both girls coming towards each other. Round three. Even match. Two fine athletes. And Saltzman goes for Meshner in a headlock. Trying for a pinning combination. Meshner driving, driving on top of Saltzman. Driving on top of Saltzman, has Saltzman down. Trying for an arm bar. Tight, riding her, riding her, trying to get, having Saltzman carrying her weight, trying to tire her out. And she's reversed, over. She has Saltzman over and she has Saltzman down. Facing the mud, but that's not a pinning position. She's now reversing. As on top of Saltzman, for referee calling a break. Both opponents are wiping off their, their faces, wiping the mud off their faces, wiping the mud out of their eyes. Very even contest, ladies and gentlemen. Very even contest. Both girls are tired. Very difficult to, to gain a pinning position in this mud. It slides. You can't hold hold firmly to your opponent. When you think you have your opponent down, she can slither, slither loose because of the, the slipperiness and the slickness of the material they're wrestling in. Yeah. Okay. Both girls turning around. Susan Mishner getting a drink of water. Splashing the mud out of her eyes so she can see. Taking the mud out of her nose and out of her mouth. Well, they want the people back there. Obviously the toughest match that Susan Meshner has ever had. Susan Meshner is undefeated in 60 matches. No one has ever beaten her. But she definitely has an incredible competitor with Lottie Saltzman. <laughs> Salzman just sitting quietly in the corner. This girl's incredibly strong. She can bench press 165 pounds, full squat 300. She's moving towards Meshner. They grab, they grapple for position. They're grappling through an arm bar. Might, no, no, a headlock. Salzman's down, Meshner's down. Meshner pulls herself up. Grappling for position again. Struggle, there's two fine athletes. End of the round. Susan Rush for getting a glass of water. Oh. Ronnie's also been getting also a glass of water and washing with the mud from her mouth. Okay. It's the end of round three. We're into a one time one round of overtime. And after that, I'll go to the judges. Ladies and gentlemen, into one round of overtime. If there is no pin in this final round, we'll then go into, the judges will then make a decision on who the winner will be. Very evenly matched fight. Both. These are both power fighters. Both use strength and power. Both women are incredibly strong. Beginning of the time. Both girls approach each other. Okay, both determined. Good. Headlock. Trained by Saltzman going into a headlock. 
Now, I'm by joint down, trying to for a pinning combination. No. Mr. Al Powers here. Mr. Riding on top. Trying to get position. Trying to get position. Trying to get position. Got a top of, uh, top of Salsman riding her. Driving. Both these girls incredibly strong. Now, Salsman on top of Meshner. Pushing. Sho shoving Meshner's face into the mud. On top of it. Throwing her down. Trying to power her down. Trying to power the bigger girl down. Salsman very powerful. Struggling. Very evenly matched fight. Very evenly matched fight. Salsman headlock. No. Bear hug. Throwing her backwards. Salsman on top of Meshner! She's on top of Meshner! She's driving! She's on top of her! Meshner pulling herself up. Salsman keeps driving, keeps driving with those powerful legs. Meshner's up. Grabs Saltzman by the headlock. Both girls are both headlocked each other. Now it's a matter of strength. Meshner on top of Saltzman. No. Evenly matched Saltzman fighting back. Fighting. Evenly matched both girls down struggling for control. Saltzman on top of Meshner now. Riding her, driving on her, getting on top, getting game position, hooking her leg with her foot, and trying to spin her over. Now Meshner getting on top of Saltzman. And our headlock. And that's the end of the round. That's the end of the round. Will the referees please come over? The judges please. Ladies and gentlemen, the referees and the judges have made a decision. The winner in the red corner is Lenny Zaltzman. In the red corner, at 123 pounds from New York City, Ms. Jackie McQuarrie. And fighting out of the blue corner, at 120 pounds, Miss Stacy Starnes from El Paso, Texas. Bandage. Okay. Take your positions. Fighters, take your positions. a glass of water. And it's stop. He stays, he turns, coming in. Got you with the leg. Driving on top of McQuarrie's. He's spin over. Mud flying everywhere. McQuarrie following afterwards. Do a bear hug. Enough. Flip by Starnes. Starnes on top of McQuarrie for a, for a hold it, trying for a pinning. No good. No. Pin, Stacy Starnes, blue corner. Nick is obviously angered by it. A little hostility between these two girls. These girls have been sizing each other up, watching each other. The previous weeks before this competition, they know that they're going to fight each other. Here they go. Again, Starnes got McCurry down. Into a press for a pinning count. She's good. Into a crab. She's got into a crab. She's now starting. McCurry's out of it. Kicking back. Perfect calls for every time out. Both girls go back to their corners. Almost un unrecognizable now. Starnes goes up. Driving down on McCurry. On top of her. By the leg lock. Grabbing her back by the neck. Down. Holding her in a pressing position. No, pinning position. No, she slides away. End of round one. Going back to their corners, wiping the mud from their faces. Starnes was very confident in her ability. Very strong, very confident, very skilled athlete. 
McCrae's angry. So there's a lot of mud in their face. Starnes is baiting McQuarrie. And they're getting around two. Okay. Starnes is throwing down McQuarrie. She's throwing down McQuarrie. She's on top of McQuarrie. She's into a pinning position. And it's a... It's a... It's a pin. Pin for Starnes. Everyone. Very calm. <laughs> Starnes. Very confident. Very sure. It's a superb athlete. Wiping the mud for her, wiping her hair back. Getting mad. McCrary having mud in her eye. McCrary having the mud wiped from her eye. Trying to gain her composure. Starnes confident. All fired up, pushing the mud away from in front of her. Snapping the mud in front of her. She moves forward and goes for a leg, lo leg lock. McCrary on top, McCrary riding her. Starnes pulling Starnes back and trying for a flip. Didn't work. Starnes moving inside. Moving on top. Flipping back into a back. Flipping back. Hitting her from the back. And it's a uh, going into a press position and it's a uh, it's a press. It's a uh, next fall. Starnes again for a pin. Stacy Starnes. Another pin for Stacy Starnes. She throws the towel and back at the referee. Stacy Starnes is angry. She loves his competition. She looks at her opponent. And she goes at her again. Jackie McCurry going down, trying for a leg lock. Starnes on top of her. Moving. Starnes trying to overpower. She's grabbing her, grabbing her by the by an arm, trying for an arm bar. A half Nelson. She's trying to turn her over. She's McCurry hanging on. Starnes now driving on her leg. Okay, McCurry on top of on top of Starnes, going into a, into a pinning position, and it's a it's a pinning it's a pin. Another pin for Stacy Starnes. End of round. Keep going. Okay. The fatigue is obvious on both athletes. Stacy Starnes talking to her coach. Jackie McCreary having the mud wiped from her face, trying to. Jackie McCreary trying to get the, the mud out of her eyes, out of her face. Stacy Starnes sitting in the, in the corner confidently. It's the third and final round. Stacy Starnes comes forward quickly, tries, and no, this is a, this is a headlock. McCreary on top. McCreary in a. Moving back on top of Starnes, now reversing. Starnes reaching over, going back on top of McCreary, forcing her back just by power. Stacy going, trying to turning her over. Stacy turning her over. Reaching for McCrory, trying to pulling over by an arm bar. Girls are both struggling, tied up together. Nothing is happening. Neither one are in a pinning, any kind of a pinning position. They're just locked together at this moment. Starting some time for McCrory. Trying to turn her over. She's staying. Trying to turn her over. She's on top of her. No, both girls are evenly matched, right? Nothing's happening. It's... Both girls are obviously very tired. It's an exhausting competition. This guy's not trying to turn over McCreary. query. And it's the end of the round. That's it. That's the raises her hand and I'm in victory. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner, the second bout, Miss Stacy Starnes, three pins to nothing. Miss Gabrielle Watley, and now the red corner, and Miss Linda Dupre, out of the blue corner. Take your positions.
two different, entirely different type of athletes. They're gonna get her. And Gabriel Wally goes in for a headlock. She's grabbing. Little Dupre, Little Dupre is there. He's grabbing. They're, they're locked. And it's Wally on top of Dupre. Dupre swings over to cover herself, bring herself from a pin. With no struggling for position. Wally on top of Dupre. Wally got it. Still pretty much even match. Now Dupre has Wally down on top. She's turning over. Wally gets herself out of slides away. Moving on top of Dupre. Wiped off, the mud in her face and her eyes. Then Dupre getting a drink of water from her coach, being coached. Both of us talking to coaches, moving around. And they attack. Dupre trying for a hit. Finally on top, trying to flip over Dupre. And she's Wally on top of Dupre, riding Dupre. Dupre spinning out of it. On top of Watley. And it's Dupre on top of Watley, and it's... And it's a pin. Okay, one pin for Linda Dupre. Out of the blue corner. Very confident. Gabrielle Watley. Difficult to pin, long, lean. Is that a pin? She pinned. And they're out. And Watley's got Dupre down. Get her headlock. Now she's on top of Dupre driving below, constantly driving, and flipped over by Watley, who has her in a pinning. No, she slips out of it. She slips out of it. Watley trying to overpower this a bigger lady. Now she's got her on, he's on top of her, trying to turn her over, trying an arm bar. No. Flipping her back, mud flying everywhere. Watley on top of Dupre. No, Dupre. Now flipping her over. Dupre over. No, Dupre slips out of it now. Gets on her stomach, protecting herself. Watley on top of her, riding her, trying to turn her over, trying to desperately turn her over. Watley got hold of Dupre on top of her, again trying to get a turn her over. And Dupre's on top of Watley, and it's one, and it's a, it's a pin. No. No, it's not a pin, ladies and gentlemen. Watley spins out of it. It's on top of Dupre again, trying to flip over, and it's the end of the round. Third round coming up. Okay, okay. Both girls having their faces wiped out. Coaches talking to them. Coaches. You do prayer, taking a drink of water. Okay. Got to take your positions. Wrestle. Beginning of round three. Both girls approach each other in the center of the ring. And Dupre going down for a headlock. Watley on top of her, trying to turn her over. It's on top of her. No, Dupre slips, slips away. She's again slips away. She spins out of it. Watley on top of her, trying to turn her over, trying to turn her, using an arm bar, turning her. Tur Dupre t protects herself, keeps herself away from being a pin, refuses to be turned over. This girl's wrestled for three years, knows every trick in the book. Watley trying, pulling her over. Can't quite turn her over. Using into a, a figure four. Yeah. Gabriel trying to turn over. Turning over. No, nothing happening. Can't quite turn the proper little Dupre over. Now, she's turning over now. Look back at each other. They broke away. Dupre driving into Watley. Watley spinning, slithering over. Watley on top of Dupre. Holding her. And that's the end of the round. One pin to nothing, Linda Dupree, blue.
Good. Good. Both of us are exhausted. Taking more water. Tired. Exhaustion is going to see exhaustion all over their faces and their body. Get him out. Both the girls get out of the ring. And the girls are fighting. No, hold it. Stop it. Referees break up the crowd. And that's the, it's the end of the round. It's the end of the fight. Referees. The Dupre looks like he's hurt. Come on, the doc. <laughs> Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. Dr. Romero is going to take a look at the prayer. That's the end. That's the end. It's the end of the match, ladies and gentlemen. End of the third round. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner, Linda Dupre. One thing to nothing. Blue corner. On the red corner is Karen Smith. at 123 pounds from Pittsfield, Massachusetts. And fighting out of the blue corner at 122 pounds from Glendale, California, Miss Tara Michelle. <laughs> okay. Fighters, take your positions. Throwing the mud around, evening the mud out of the, out the, the pit. I'm sure rubbing, rubbing mud on her hair and her face. She was rubbing the mud on each other. It's the beginning of round one. Karen Smith goes for a headlock and throws down into the car of Michelle. Driving. Car Michelle hanging on. Karen Smith on top of her. Rolling. And with an arm bar holding her down. And for a trunk and point for a pin. And it's a pin. One red, Darren Smith. Darren Smith having the mud wiped out of her face. Very fast pin. Darren Smith, very fast, agile athlete, excellent wrestler. Moving into Carmichael. Okay, going for a headlock. Carmichael. Over good. Michelle trying to overpower. That's it. That's it. Even Slamming the side of the pit. Tom Michelle squeaks, rolling on top. Tom Michelle taking herself. Break it down. Oh. There, hug. Sitting on her. Tom driving after her, driving after Tom Michelle. She's trying to break her down. She's trying to break, going for a leg. Tom Michelle keeps her balance. Protecting yourself. And Karen Smith relentlessly. Follow us through. End of round one. One fall. Karen Smith. Karen Smith having the mud wipe out of her face. Talking to her coach. Two falls, Terrence Smith. Tom Michelle angry. Moving forward. Terrence Smith going low. Having by the leg and a leg lock. Trying to flip her. Spinning her around. Terrence Smith. The top of Carmichael. Michelle. Trying for a pinning combination. Driving. Carmichael Michelle on top. Riding Terrence Smith. Moving on top, Tara Michelle on top, spitting down, and she's driving past it into the ground. Heading away. Tara driving her, and Karen Smith trying to turn it. Karen driving. Making control. Driving, pushing. 
Time is holding her own. And she's getting in, trying to pull her shoulders back. Um, so, trying to get in on this non bar, trying to pull in the into a half minute. End of round. End of the second round, even. Only one pin. The other one was because of the bell. Score right now is Karen Smith, one pin. Tara Michelle, nothing. Second pin was called in the count of the bell. Karen Smith having the mud wiped out of her face. Tara Michelle trying to gain her composure. Third round coming up, one to nothing, red. Give me the round. Tara Michelle coming forward. And it's a headlock by Karen Smith. We'll be in a pinning position on Tara Michelle. And it's a, it's a pin. Two pins red, Karen Smith. And a beautiful pinning combination, a headlock. Woo! headlock. Karen Smith exuberant, Tara Michelle angry, wiping the mud from her face, trying to smile. Tara Michelle coming forward, determination in her face. And now, Tara Michelle going, and the headlock by Tara Michelle, tr trying to, flipping. Karen Smith fighting, fighting the headlock. Jumping off bounds, Tara Michelle on top of Karen Smith. Karen Smith got the headlock on Tara Michelle. Okay, he's back Both girls are tied up. Karen Smith. That's a good baby. Tara Michelle riding Karen Smith, trying to tire her out on top. Now, pushing Karen Smith away. Karen Smith flies back at her. Karen Michelle with a headlock. Karen Michelle with a headlock on Karen Smith. Smith moves out of the headlock. Again, Karen Michelle with a headlock. The end of the round. Two pins, Karen Smith. End of the last round. And ladies and gentlemen, the winner of our fourth bout the red corner is Karen Smith. What did you think of the four elimination bouts? You first, Mr. Schiffman. Well, I tell you, it was really exciting, and it was wild and furious. The ladies were taking this very seriously. There was a lot of aggression, and it looks like it's going to be fun watching it come into the semifinals. How about you, Mr. Palomino? <laughs> it was incredible. You know, I've watched some mud wrestling in, in, in L.A. before, but this is incredible. The ladies are here to win. So no question about that. And you, Mr. Lou Tabbitt? Well, I thought this is the first time I ever uh, had mud, ever watched mud wrestling or even judged it, of course, because I'm the world boxing judge in boxing. But this is a, more excitement to it. Definitely more excitement. Are the, are the contestants prettier than in boxing? Well, they got, it, they got it all over the men, I can say that much. <laughs> <laughs> well, who do we have here? It's, it's the famous doctor, Dr. Romeo, or is it Dr. Romeo? Either one is correct. You know, Dr. Romeo, you have 13 children, don't you? Is that why your name is Romeo? Eleven, but that's close. <laughs> Eleven! Well, I need to shake your hand for that one. It was nothing. It was nothing. Like Dean Martin said, seven seconds, seven children. Left. Oh, well. <laughs> uh, Dr. Romeo, you also do the L.E. fights, don't you? Yes, all the professional bouts in town, yes. Uh, this one, I guess, is, is quite a bit different from an L.E. fight, or is it? I like this better. <laughs> I wonder why. Do you think that people uh, during these mud wrestling bouts can be hurt, really hurt, I mean? Yes, I think so. I mean, like the one uh, young lady there in the third bout uh, hurt her jaw. That's the reason it took her so long to get up, but do she's you, okay. Do you think bones can be broken? Ice can be gouged out? Anything is possible, sure. Mary Ann. <laughs> Mary Ann you have I such ask? wonderful answers. Mary Ann, could I yes. ask a question? It is Dr. Romeo. Yes, Dr. Romeo, with 13 children. Yes, uh, 
Dr. Romeo, uh, one of the girls asked me if you'd like to play Dr. Nurse. She would be uh, Nurse Juliet. Uh, I, uh, I was asked to come over here and say that. I don't know why I did it. But. I, I grew this beard to be an understudy for Trapper John, and nobody has found me yet, so I'm ready. All right. There are a few bears in that uh, pit today, aren't there? Well, here's your exposure. I mean, you're being found, definitely. Hi, Rory. How are you? Well, I'm, I'm worn out from wrestling. I had four matches there all by myself. I watched you on the monitor, and by God, you really get in there and do your number. Well, I used to have a training camp for fighters, so I know a little something about this. I know. Is this more fun, or, or is the other more fun? Your training camp, I mean. Oh, this is a lot more fun because I get to bath them and anoint them down with oil from... <laughs> Those guys like that. They like that part, don't they, Maria? And the oil, oil comes from the upper reaches of the Nile River. It's mysterious, special oil. It takes care of all the bruises and abrasions and everything. And I have to wipe them all down with that, you know. Do you only do it for your side? I mean, your side? Or do you do it for Adam's side? Or does well, Adam no, get to I do think, that, too? I, I think Rory has a special oil. He's obviously cheating. I'm leaving now. <laughs> I'm taking my girls and I'm going home, is what I do. You guys! <laughs> you know, you look... You, you even look beautiful with all the mud on you. I guess that's what's part of being a star. Is that it? Blue eyes. Well, you, you know how much money they, they pay for, for a, a, a mud bath? No. These gals with the mud packs and everything, we're getting all this for free. That's right, we what more can we ask for? Ladies and gentlemen, in our first semifinal bout, Lonnie Saltzman versus Stacy Starnes. You think you stand a chance against this? The bigger they are, the bigger they fall. Wow. The skinnier they are, the easier they break. I'll smash you like a pretzel. You don't like the girl? What do you mean you don't like the girl? Well, she's very hard to get along with, very stubborn, and... Uh, you mean personally or in the ring? Both. Both. And she just has this feeling that she's going to win, and she's got a big surprise coming for her. You think you're going to do it, right? Oh, I know I am. Both fighters eyeing each other. Okay, Starnes coming in. Going, grabbing. Grappling for position. And it's so grappling for position. Dead, dead lock. And Saltzman and down on top of Starnes. Hunter turned over by an arm bar. Reaching under, trying to... Dead lock. Saltzman. Looking up down, and down on top of Starnes. And Starnes spins out of it and covers himself. Saltzman into, into a half Nelson. Saltzman the heart, half Nelson. Starnes spins out of it. Goes into a headlock. Something powers out of it. Starnes has an arm bar, flank for an arm bar. I'm pulling Sultan back on top of him. Both girls in the corner now, tied up. Neither one of them in the finish position. Referee breaks them up. So, end of the round one. Even match. Stacey Starnes wiping her face off. Honey, Saltzman. Drink of water. In the first round, both fighters even. Stacey wiping her face off. Both fighters move forward with each other. Starnes going for a headlock. Girls look good that and look good grabbing for position. Saltzman. Stacy on top of Saltzman, riding her. Saltzman on top of Stacy. In a fitting position. Saltzman on top of Stacy. And it's. And it's. it's a, just like a pin. And it's a pin. First pin, Honey Saltzman.
Okay. Maybe the face is wiped off. Third round coming up. Casey Stars. Moving forward. Both girls grappling for position. Stearns is a headlock. Going for a headlock. Ooh, bear hugged by Saltzman. Forcing her into the mud. Saltzman riding on top of her. Okay. In a bear hug by Saltzman. That's Lonnie Saltzman strong. End of the round two. Lonnie Saltzman drinking water. Stacy Starnes angry. Determination showing on her face. I can wet from her face, breathing deeply. This is very exhausting. Taunting Stacy Stein's tossing, ta taunting Lonnie Salzman. She moves across the pit. Okay. Goes for a headlock on Salzman. Salzman bracing herself, holding herself. This girl's very powerful. Stein spinning, twisting, trying using leverage. Right up for Salzman into the mud. And it's a dip. Both girls are locked. Referee breaks them apart. Referee warning, no clenched fist on a headlock. Stacy Starnes goes back to her corner. Stacy Starnes, seemingly upset by the call, wiping her face up, going forward to meet Saltzman. Throwing up, mud flying, going into a headlock. Saltzman having a headlock on Starnes. Both girls head headlocking each other. Starnes. Saltzman powering on top of Starnes. And it's Starnes slipping out of it. Rolling over, rolling over. Preventing herself from being pinned. Salton on top. Starn slipping away. Slipping away. Salton looking for an arm bar. Trying to slip back. Starn reaching back. Trying to and the headlock on Salzman. End of round three. Third round coming up. Score at the end of round three is one nothing. Salzman. Starts drinking water. Out of the pit. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of our first semifinal bout. Lonnie Saltzman. In our second semi-final bout, Linda Dupree out of the blue corner versus Karen Smith in the red corner. She really is awkward when she fights. I've seen her fight. I haven't wrestled her before, but I'm not worried, believe me. You're not worried. Not worried. Well, she said she can kick anybody's ass. She She's wasn't just talking, talking about you. She yeah, I want to see her in the pin. Oh. That's what I want to see. You want to see her in the pin? Yeah. And, and what are you going to do? <laughs> well, uh, she isn't going to last more than one round. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Karen Smith. Hi, Karen. How are you? Hi. Tough. You're tough. All the girls from Pittsfield, Massachusetts, tough? I guess after they tangle with me, they're a little bit tougher. Wrestlers, take your positions. Let's go. To our coach, Adam West, getting into the mud. Both girls getting into the mud. Rubbing the mud on themselves, getting the feet in the mud. Forward. Dupree goes for headlock. The switch reverses her into a headlock. Karen, it's a headlock. Slipping Dupree over into a headlock. Can it? Dupree slips out of it. Slips out of it. Spins around and gets out of the pinning position. Right. 
Smith on top of her. Riding her, riding to pray, riding to pray. Uh, trying to pin her over an arm bar into a pinning position. And it's driving. Driving on top. Karen Smith on top of Dupre. Dupre spins out of it. Karen Smith trying to turn Linda Dupre over. She's working in her arm board. Trying to turn her. And she turns her over. Why? Karen Smith protesting him. Referee Holt. Slowed up the boat. Karen Smith protests. Karen Smith upset by the call. I can move blood from her face. Linda Dupre consulting with her coach, Adam West. Karen Smith wiping the blood from her face. Whistle, whistle blows, resume fighting. Flint girls move forward, Karen Smith in the crowd position. We should do a headlock and it's the end of the round. End of the first round. One pin for Karen Smith in the red corner. Then Dupre doesn't seem particularly upset. Picks up mud, threatening to throw mud. Throwing mud is not allowed as a penalty. Round two coming up. Both girls eyeing each other. See their coaches. They move forward into the pit. No. Karen Smith goes, throwing her down on top of her. Karen Smith driving on, driving on Linda Dupre. Getting, getting into a pinning position and Linda Dupre spins out of it. Karen Smith on top, Linda Dupre spinning away from it. Karen Smith trying to turn Linda Dupre over. She turns her over, she moves on top. Linda Dupre quickly moves it, protects herself, moves, moves away. Karen Smith into a half Nelson. Driving, driving, turning over Linda Dupre. Driving hard. Referee, whistle breaks the fighters off. Linda Dupre, very angry. There's a hostility between the two of these two, these two fighters. Referee calls a pin, Karen Smith. That's two pins for Karen Smith. Out of the red corner. Both girls move together. Suspicion their face. They throw mud. Both girls are fighting. Dupre's got a headlock on Smith. Smith moves out of it. Driving, driving, trying to turn over Dupre for another pin. Turning her over, turning her over. Into a pinning position and... And the girls go back at it again and they're fighting again. Ripley has to break them up. Ripley breaking them up. Now these girls are angry. And then, ladies and gentlemen, it's turning into a real brawl. Karen Smith had to be pulled up. Ripley's pulling the girls apart. Both these girls are furious, angry at each other. Karen Smith raising her hand. This is my job. Ten more seconds in round three. Come on. Come on, Karen. Okay. Karen Smith goes under Linda Dupre, throwing her down into the corner, trying for one more pin. And it's, and it's a pin. Linda Dupre following after Karen. They're going to do it again, ladies and gentlemen. Karen Smith on top of Linda Dupre, and this referee's pulling them apart. These girls are very angry. And she goes in to pray after Karen Smith again. And they're still fighting. Referees have to pull them apart. 
He's turning into a real brawl. The commissioner has been getting involved in this. Breaking them apart. Both girls have been broken apart. These girls are very angry at each other. This is really turning into a grudge match. Dupree coming. Carlos Bellamino, the referee, keeping them apart. And they're at it again, ladies and gentlemen. They're at it again. Woo! Ladies and gentlemen, the commissioner himself had to get in and pull these girls apart. Karen Smith, furious and angry. Very angry. Carlos Bellamino covered with blood. Blood, excuse me, mud. <laughs> the red team, Karen Smith, four pins. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the moment of truth is here. The main event. From the red corner, Ms. Lonnie Saltzman. From the blue corner, Ms. Karen Smith. Yeah! Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, this is for the Female Nut Wrestling World Championship. Ladies and gentlemen, for the female mud wrestling championship of the world, fighting out of the red corner, Ms. Lonnie Saltzman. And fighting out of the blue corner, Ms. Karen Smith. Wrestlers, take your positions. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is a classic example of strength versus skill and speed. And the opening bell. Let's go move forward. And see, keep your arms close together. And they go. Grappling the center of the ring. Grappling. Saltzman. Trying to Both girls have a headlock on each other. Both girls are, are in a stalemate. Karen Smith with a tight headlock on Saltzman. Saltzman. Throwing Karen Smith down in a pinning position. Karen Smith rolling out of it. Wolfley slipping away. Saltzman riding her. Riding her. Okay. See that ref? Saltzman riding her. Get bear hug around the waist. Lifting her up. Saltzman's up and throwing her. Smith squirms out of it. Trying for a headlock. Smith trying for a headlock. Saltzman powering her. Driving her backwards. On top of her. On top of her. Powering on top of her. End of round one. One run even. Girls wiping the blood from their face. Come on, Karen! Come on, Karen! This is your show. This is your show. Adam West. Lonnie, this week from coaching for one of her teammates. Rory Calhoun. Coaching. Watch your hands up. Beginning of round two. Both girls approach each other. Both girls approach each other. Lonnie going for a headlock, into an arm bar, no, Karen Smith on the back, in a bear hug. Karen Smith in a bear hug on Lonnie Saltzman. Saltzman twisting, twisting. Karen Smith trying to turn her over to a pinning position, but Lonnie Saltzman is too strong. Karen Smith trying, and with an arm bar to pull Saltzman over, into a pinning position. Both girls are deadlocked. The girls are deadlocked. Karen Smith on top of Saltzman. We're in a pinning position. Saltzman spins away. Karen Smith in a bear hug on Saltzman and the half Nelson trying to twist him, trying to put pressure on, trying to turn Saltzman over, but Saltzman is too strong. 
Chris Smith on top, riding Saltzman, riding Saltzman, going for an arm bar in the round two. Very evenly matched athletes, ladies and gentlemen. Very evenly matched. Karen Smith wiping the mud from her face, smiling, kissing her coach. Lonnie Smalls is in a drink of water. Keeping your composure, quiet, determined, determined. Lonnie Smalls in beginning of round three. Both girls, of course. Right now, they're even match. Both girls. And Saltzman goes for a headlock on Smith. Smith on top of Saltzman. Sits out of the headlock. Going for an arm bar. Lifting and trying to, twisting, trying to turn, pulling Saltzman back. Saltzman spins out of it. Trying for a pity. Saltzman, it's a power struggle. Trying to gain control. Two evenly matched athletes, Saltzman on top of Smith most easily slips away from being put in a pinning position. Saltzman breathing hard on top of Smith. Both these girls are very tired. Very tired. Saltzman on top. Going for Karen. Trying for an arm bar. Trying to turn her over. Trying desperately to turn her over and Karen Smith. Trying to turn and that's the end of the round. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout is going to overtime. We go one minute overtime. Even two evenly matched athletes. Karen Smith listening to her coach. Adam West. Keep talking to one of her teammates. Brian Smith quiet, sitting in a corner, brushing the hair from her face. Listening to her determined. Ronnie Saltzman wiping the mud from her hands from her face, keeping her composure. Quiet, determined. This is it, right? Okay. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. This is the final overtime. This is going to be this last round will determine the winner. And that's the bell. Both girls approach each other. Karen Smith keeping her arms close together. They go for it. They grab from the center. Lonnie going into a headlock on Karen Smith. Karen keeping her balance. Riding Stoutsman on top. Forcing her half Nelson. Now fighting her strength. Stoutsman with a headlock. Stoutsman. Smith gets out of the headlock. Going into an arm bar to turn Stoutsman over. Stoutsman spins out of it. Into a, into a bear hug. Trying to twist. Smith into a pinning position, and Smith skillfully spins out on top again. Very even match, ladies and gentlemen, very even match. Saltzman on top of Smith, riding her, twisting her, trying to turn her over, but Smith won't be turned over. Going into a half Nelson, his slide out of the half Nelson, goes into a bear hug, spins out again. Break up, the referee breaks them up on the side of the, side of the pit. Back in, they can do it again. Smith on top of Saltzman, Saltzman spins out into it. Taking yourself. Saltzman and Smith, two evenly matched athletes. This is a very difficult match to predict. Both going at each other full bore. Saltzman riding Smith on top of Smith. Struggling, and that's the end of the bout. Very difficult match to judge, ladies and gentlemen. Very difficult. Two beautiful athletes. Very evenly matched. Would the referees please come over to the judges' table? Both girls are winning the decision. Lonnie Salsman breathing deeply, talking to her coach, talking to one of her, that her teammates. That's it, right? That's it. Karen Smith standing up, confident, smiling, excellent athletes.
very skilled technician. Breathing deeply, she just came off another bout. Understandably tired. Ronnie Salzman also understandingly tired. He gets slowly out of the pit. Very even match, ladies and gentlemen. Very difficult to choose. Darren Smith raises her hand. The applause of the crowd. Lonnie Smoltzman. The crowd loves both these athletes. An incredible performance in both cases. They're waiting the judge's decision. We're going to have one more round. It is a draw so far with all the everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, you have your attention, please. There is going to be one more round. These two athletes are so evenly matched that the judges and the referees at this point have determined the route, the draw, the bout is a draw. At this point, one more round, this last round will determine who is the champion. Johnny talking to one of her teammates, breathing deeply, both girls being coached. Karen Smith being coached by Stacey Starnes. One minute rest. Karen Smith being over to positions, both girls getting into the pit, taking their positions. This is the last and final round. This round will determine the international female mud wrestling champion. And that's the beginning of the round. Both girls approach each other, both wearing each other's strength and power and skill. And they go into a... And both grabbing for control. Smith driving into Salsman, smoking, spinning, and turning. Salsman with a headlock. He spins out of it. Driving back and forth. Evenly matched. Two evenly matched athletes. Locked and out. Locked. Saltzman trying to turn Smith over into a pinning position, but Smith is too skillful. Keeps her, her legs spread apart, holding her balance. Goes are close to the edge of the pit right now. Goes a training, training, one, and down. Saltzman's just face is being pushed into the mud by Saltzman. Smith on top of her. Broken up by the referee. Even contest. They go back to their expected corners. Karen Smith's face is being wiped via the mud. Her face was driven right into the mud, ladies and gentlemen. Ronnie Salton wiping her face off. Quiet, composed. Referee's whistle. Both girls approach each other. An even match, two fine athletes. Grappling for position. Go ahead. Karen Smith like a line line himself and forcing Karen Smith down. But Smith pulls herself out of it. Always turning, always aware of her, of her leverage. Just smashed into the mud at this time. Lonnie on top of Karen Smith, smashing her face into the mud. The referee breaks it out. Even match. Girls in the stalemate. Lonnie Smith, oh, Lonnie Saltzman, strong, powerful. Karen Smith, skillful, quick, also very strong, but no match. Both girls are approaching each other. That's the end, and that's the end of the round. Another difficult decision for our judges. For the referees, please approach the judges' bench. Both girls are 
the decision. They're standing within the decision. Talking to their, their coaches. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner and the first international mud wrestling champion from the red corner is Lonnie Salzman. Just bad blood between these two girls. Very evenly matched fight. Very evenly matched. They want to go at it again. They want to go at it again. Karen Smith does not accept that decision. They want to go at it again. The new head Kevin is beaming. She's so happy. Karen Smith, understandably upset. She fought an incredible fight. A very evenly matched fight. A very difficult fight to, do, to decide. This is a crowd of hands waving. A very happy young lady. A very happy young lady. Ladies and gentlemen, the presentation of the trophy presented by Mr. Kevin Brody, the Commissioner of World Championship, Mud Wrestling. Bonnie, congratulations. Oh. Lonnie, Lonnie, mud looks beautiful on you. How do you feel? I'm tired. I bet you are. Are you, are you happy you won? Oh, very, very happy. Remember yesterday when we talked in the lounge and you didn't want to talk, and uh, why? I'm a woman of action. I don't like to talk. I just like to go out and win. <laughs> and we saw your action. We saw your action. You were very terrific in the ring. Congratulations again. Thank you. What is your name, please? Sylvia Clutz there. Say that again. Sylvia Klitzner and I'm from Los Angeles. From Los Angeles. Did you enjoy the mud wrestling championship? Very much. Very, very much. I'm glad you did. Did you think someone else was going to win or did you think Lonnie was going to win or what? Well, we backed Lonnie. This young lady and I backed Lonnie all the way. All right. Even from the beginning? Yes. That's wonderful. What is your name, please? Robin Diamond. And where are you from, Robin? Las Vegas. And you were for Lonnie also? I have a simple question. How did you guys happen to know that it was going to be Lonnie that was going to win? I mean, all the other wrestlers were terrific, too, don't you think? She had the power, not the beauty. Calm and collected. Say that again? She was cool, calm, and collected. That is true. Hello there. What is your name, please? Eddie Fay. Eddie Fay from Steubenville, Ohio. I'm also a wrestling promoter here in Las Vegas. Wow, a wrestling promoter. You know, I understand that it's more difficult to wrestle in the mud than it is to... I mean, it's difficult to wrestle, period, but it's more difficult in the mud. Would you agree to that? That's correct. And I, in my 30 years experience as a wrestler and wrestling promoter, I can actually say that this has been the greatest wrestling that I've ever seen in all my life. Wow! I'm glad you enjoyed the show because I really did too. Did you think the girls were beautiful? The girls not only were beautiful, but they were very, very strong. <laughs> did you? Did they do actual holds in wrestling, or, or, I mean, was it really wrestling, or was it playing in the mud? I want to say one thing. I've been around the world three times. I've had 5,000 professional matches, and these girls here, I don't think there's anyone in the country that can compete with these girls. This is the real legitimate lady world's champion, the lady that won tonight.
Thank you for joining us for the first annual International Female Mud Wrestling Championship Heavyweight Division. Our next telecast will crown the first world champion in the lightweight division. Tune in again for exciting World Championship Female Mud Wrestling.